Hello everybody and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you this little active suspension concept car I've been working on. It's pretty simple. All it's really doing is it's trying to keep the seat level. That beep you're hearing, that is the um, active suspension, like beeping to let you know every time it's making an adjustment to the wheels to try and keep you upright. Uh, it works pretty dang good for just driving around. If you're wondering why the sky's blocked out, that's because I got the suspension test map spawned in by uh, Slap Spines. But this works pretty good for just keeping the car level and keeping your wheels in contact with the ground, which is really important for driving in general. So if I backspace here, I should be able to spawn top. All right, so this is how I'm gonna demonstrate it functioning. So I'm just gonna drive across here pretty slowly. You can see the wheels. They adjust as they go to compensate for any kinds of dips in the road and it keeps them in contact fairly well, I'd say. Um, the problem is it reacts based off body roll and body roll only happens after being affected so it can't predict it. So as you begin to speed up, it becomes a lot more obvious how slow it reacts and that affects its stability at higher speeds. So once you start breaking 70, you can start having inconsistencies where you may crash. I don't really know how to fix this, but um, I, I think this is really cool. Compared to normal suspension, I do think it gives you a smoother ride, at least at lower speeds. I don't really have any ways to improve this, but it's just super cool. So let me show you what it would be like without the active. All right, so this is what it would be like without the active I've just removed the hinges speed so they shouldn't be moving at all you're gonna be hearing the beeping still because that's just the system I didn't want to break it so here it is um, with none of the active suspension stuff in. all right here we go just driving around it is much less stable but if we give it its active stabilization again You can see the wheels will try to reach for the ground, so that's another problem. As it leaves the ground, it's going to reach and try and find it. So that'll make it really unstable when you're trying to like come back in contact with the ground because only one of your wheels will be touching it usually and that will cause all kinds of not such good stability. Uh, this looks pretty dang sweet though, so if you guys have any ideas on how to improve it, please leave a comment. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers, and it would be awesome if we could hit that this month. So please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.